Primitive communism is a concept originating from Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels who argued that hunter-gatherer societies were traditionally based on egalitarian social relations and common ownership. A primary inspiration for both Marx and Engels were Lewis Henry Morgan's descriptions of «communism in living» as practiced by the Iroquois nation of North America. In Marx's model of socio-economic structures, societies with primitive communism had no hierarchical social class structures or capital accumulation. Engels offered the first detailed theorization of primitive communism in 1884, with publication of The Origin of the Family, Private Property, and the State. Marx and Engels used the term more broadly than Marxists did later, and applied it not only to hunter-gatherers but also to some subsistence agriculture communities. There is also no agreement among later scholars, including Marxists, on the historical extent, or longevity, of primitive communism. Marx and Engels also noted how capitalist accumulation latched itself onto social organizations of primitive communism. For instance, in private correspondence the same year that The Origin of the Family was published, Engels attacked European colonialism, describing the Dutch regime in Java directly organizing agricultural production and profiting from it on the basis of the old communistic village communities." He added that cases like the Dutch East Indies, British India and the Russian Empire showed, "...how today primitive communism furnishes the finest and broadest basis of exploitation." <laughs> Nature of primitive communist societies In a primitive communist society, all able-bodied persons would have engaged in obtaining food, and everyone would share in what was produced by hunting and gathering. There would be no private property, which is distinguished from personal property such as articles of clothing and similar personal items, because primitive society produced no surplus, what was produced was quickly consumed. The few things that existed for any length of time tools, housing, were held communally, in Engels' view in association with matrilocal residents and matrilineal descent. There would have been no state. Domestication of animals and plants following the Neolithic Revolution through herding and agriculture was seen as the turning point from primitive communism to class society as it was followed by private ownership and slavery, with the inequality that they entailed. In addition, parts of the population specialized in different activities, such as manufacturing, culture, philosophy, and science which is said to lead to the development of social classes. Egalitarian and communist-like hunter-gatherer societies have been studied and described by many well-known social anthropologists including James Woodburn, Richard Lee, Alan Barnard and, more recently, Jerome Lewis. Anthropologists such as Christopher Boehm, Chris Knight and Jerome Lewis offer theoretical accounts to explain how communistic, assertively egalitarian social arrangements might have emerged in the prehistoric past. Despite differences in emphasis, these and other anthropologists follow Engels in arguing that evolutionary change—resistance to primate-style sexual and political dominance—culminated eventually in a revolutionary transition. Richard Borchet Lee criticizes the mainstream and dominant culture's longtime bias against the possible existence of primitive communism, deriding bourgeois ideology that would have us believe that primitive communism doesn't exist. In popular consciousness, it is lumped with romanticism, exoticism, the noble savage. Topic. See also. Marx's theory of history. Original affluent society Origins of society Classless society Social ownership Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Topic. 21st century texts In French, Christophe Darmingat, Le Communisme Primitif Ness plus C. E. Kiel Ate, Toulouse Collectif de Edition Smolny, 2009, New Edition Completely Revised, 2012. In French, Alain Testart, Avant la Histoire, L'Evolution des Societes, de Lascoa Carnac. Gallimard, 2012. In French, Alain Testart, Le Communisme Primitif, Economie et Idéologie, Maison des Sciences de l'Homme, 1995. Topic. Historic and original texts 
In French, Paul Lafargue, Le déterminisme économique de Karl Marx. Recherche sur l'origine des idées de justice, du bien, de la main et de Dieu, Larmatin, 1997. 1909. Paul Lafargue, The Evolution of Property from Savagery to Civilization, 1891, New Edition, 1905. In French, Paul Lafargue, La propriété, Origin et Evolution, Editions du Sandra, 2007, 1890, Lire en ligne, Archives Marxistes sur Internet. Friedrich Engels, The Origin of the Family, Private Property and the State, 1884. Louis Henry Morgan, Ancient Society, 1877. Johann Jakob Bachofen, Myth, Religion, and Mother Right, Selected Writings of J.J. Bachofen by Joseph Campbell introduction and George Boas preface, Princeton University Press, 380p. 1992 <laughs> Further reading Marx, Engels, Luxembourg and the Return to Primitive Communism Primitive Communism, Barbarism and the Origins of Class Society Lionel Sims Hunter-Gatherers and the Mythology of the Market John Gowdy. 